And welcome to the Factor Uncensored. We have the usual suspects. And of course, welcome to the new Factor Uncensored set. Angela, we see you. You ready? Are you excited to be here? I am. I got lost <laughs> on my way, but this is so cool. I love this. Glad to have you all here on the Factor Uncensored. Well, joining us on the Factor Uncensored, Canada has implemented a travel ban to the U.S. for its citizens who are LGBTQ+. This comes after concerns of the laws recently passed in some United States, including the drag show restrictions right here in Texas. Okay. Senate Bill 12 takes effect this Friday. It will ban all public drag shows where minors are present. Joining us to talk about it, con this controversial law that's now on the books, local drag entertainer Queen Angela, political analyst Angela Box, and president of the LGBTQ Plus Caucus, Austin Davis Ruiz. Glad to have you here on The Factor Uncensored. So, Queen Angela, when you saw this law being passed, moving through as a bill, and becoming the law of Texas, what were your thoughts? Queen Angelina. <laughs> yes, I'm Queen Angelina. I know I, we got Angela here too. Um, so, I mean, this is pretty disappointing. Um, it's gonna, it puts me in danger of somebody attacking me to coming into our shows and telling us, hey, you're doing something against the law. You know, you should be going to jail. Um, but at the end of the day, I'm an artist and I just, I'm here working and just to also as an activist to show who I am as a queer person so that the kids know that they're not alone. Austin, your thoughts on this, seeing this now law in Texas? Yeah, I mean, it's pretty blatantly uh, vague, and I think that that's intentional in order to really target the trans, non-binary performers of the community. But this doesn't just ban drag. This really bans any kind of drag-like performance in front of children. So think theatrical performances, think cheerleading performances, anything that uses accessories or prosthetics to exaggerate characteristics is banned under this law. So it's not just drag that it affects, it's really so much more. Um, For those who may not understand, if there is another version of Peter Pan where typically a woman plays Peter Pan, right. that could be trouble. Yes, that would be considered drag, and that, because it is being performed in front of children, would be uh, considered violating this law specifically. And so again, it's not just specifically drag performers that are at risk, it's really the entire you know, theatrical community, performance communities, there's so many people that are at risk because of this law. And Austin, what do you think this is truly about? Politics or the safety of children? <laughs> Definitely not the safety of children. Uh, this is, is it by no means is protecting any children. This is really about exercising power and about oppressing a minority that has historically already been oppressed for decades. This is really just a power play by Governor Abbott to try and score political points with his base and really just to rile up the conservatives to attack people that have already been attacked for decades. <laughs> Angela, your thoughts on this? Oh, so, so many thoughts. Um, you know, look, <coughs> nothing against you personally, Queen Angelina, nothing against you personally, Austin. Okay. I personally believe people are either gay or they're not gay. I've always believed that. Most people do, and most people don't have a problem with what consenting adults do with other consenting adults. But as we saw from your performance, Angelina, this was not an appropriate performance in front of children, and that's the bottom line. That's what this bill seeks to stop. It seeks to stop the grooming and the sexualizing of children. Well, which, there's no grooming I, happening. I Absolutely oh, not. Oh, that is 100% grooming. I did not interrupt you. Do not interrupt We're not going to entertain grooming talk you, on the show. Well, stop grooming and then I won't call you groomers. Who am I grooming? Um, show me the proof. Show anyway, me the so the gaslighting that Austin was trying to say that, that we've got theatrical performances that are going to be banned. We're talking about men dressing in heavy makeup, prosthetic breasts, prosthetics, strap-ons perhaps. Very sexualized behavior that should not be in front of children and for the life of me I do not understand why the gay community normal gay people who are not for this do not want children exposed to this period dot the end why more normal gay people are not rising up against this because this is not art for children this is sexualized behavior in front of children that's all drag is it, I've been to drag shows it is sexualized content and it should not be in front of children is Peter it's not Pan hard. sexualized content so, again the gaslighting that you're going to do about Peter Pan you know, no, I'm, I'm asking old a question. To remember Sandy Duncan playing Peter Pan I don't so think is that, that inherently see. sexual yes or no um no it is not so that means that 
not all drag is inherently sexual. Not all drag is inherently sexual, but the things that Queen Angelina was doing that we've seen throughout the country, those are very sexual performances. And we, you know, there's a, there's a teacher in Canada who is a biological male who who presents as a biological male outside of school, but in school he decides to wear ginormous prosthetic breasts, makes people call him his, you know, female name when he's not a female. He's a he's a male, and he's and the Canadian the Canadians who are you know banning people from coming here are. Are telling people not to criticize this man. I mean, Angelina or Austin, go ahead. I think at the end of the day, um, there's all types of drag, all types of performance. Um, none of the dancing was me, so I actually I also play the violin, and I also sing. Great. So there's all types um, of drag performances. But I think at the end of the day, we're here for to talk about SB12, and we're talking about how it's actually just too broad, and at the end of the day, it's unconstitutional. Right. And the thing is, drag queens like most adults, know how to tailor performances for their audience, right? We know what is appropriate and what's not appropriate to have in front of kids. That's uh, not for, what I just for saw. For example, Drag Queen Story Hour, that was a performance in a nightclub. Yeah. That children, children were would present. Not, children, that children were present, were present in present. a nightclub. Did you not see the children in that clip? Where? The ones that were walking away. Are you kidding me? Did we if see the same thing? If you guys can roll that clip back, let's take a look. I mean, there was a child in the middle of the clip. Can we also, make it full screen? I, I feel like at the end of the day, it's up to the like, parents. Uh, what to, are you kidding me right now? At the end of the day, I feel like it's up to the parents to feel if they think they should bring their children to wherever no, they are. No, we've I'm, I'm failing to see how this inherently is a sexualized performance. Are you, you're, you're kidding this is, me, right? This with is the, a drag entertainer with, that's performing. Oh my God, these leftist parents that are so concerned <laughs> about pushing their agenda onto their children, their innocent children. She is literally children walking with these children who, in the middle of a club. One at a time, guys. I mean, it's just y'all. Y'all are doing the most, and that's the that's the point. Is that no adults <coughs> have problems with other adults behaving this way in front of other adults? It's when you bring children in. This is not appropriate. What you're seeing on the screen. It is not appropriate. Period. Dot. The end. What if, and why what if parents? Are you, what if parents take their children to that? Then those parents. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, I mean, we know how politicized everything is at this point. We know the left has. will stop at nothing. To, to, to push their agenda on everybody, including Last their own children. Last 20 seconds, guys. Angela, at the end of the day, um, what have you done to help children like well, that? Well, I used to be a teacher, and uh, I know what's appropriate to, to place in front of children, and I can guarantee you that, that a man wearing makeup doing the splits and prosthetic breasts uh, gyrating in front of a child is not appropriate. And at why, the end of the day... Why is this the hill on which you want to die? I don't All see right. how that's why? any different. Okay, okay Angela, real quick. Ahead, Real quick, I just don't see how this kind of performance that she has a problem with is really any different than the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders dancing on national television, than any of the Super Bowl performances we've seen over the last decade. It's exactly the same. It's yeah. not right. exactly the same. Thank you guys same. for joining us. Of course, this is a debate that will continue here in the state of Texas with this new law.